Let's get started in migrating to our latest WooCommerce PayPal plugin from the previous PayPal Checkout plugin. Let's quickly check that the version of PayPal on your WooCommerce store matches the one for this video guide. We can do that a few ways by going on the left menu and hovering over WooCommerce, Settings, and then click on the Payments tab. And if we scroll here, your PayPal plugin should be titled PayPal Checkout here. If you instead see the title PayPal Standard here, then please take a look at our other video where I guide you in the steps of migrating from that version. So if yours is also titled just like this here, then you're watching the right video. But let's do one final check by hovering over plugins and clicking on installed plugins. Scroll to find, check if you have this plugin titled WooCommerce PayPal Checkout Gateway. And for some of you, you may see this red action required notice here. I'll show you how to manually migrate from this plugin to the new one. Let's just quickly go back to the dashboard home screen. The first step in upgrading is that you must install WooCommerce's latest PayPal plugin. There are a few different ways a plugin can be installed in your WordPress site, whether it be by going on plugins, add new plugin, and searching the phrase PayPal, or downloading the plugin from the official WooCommerce website here. I'll be providing the link to this page as well as any related resources mentioned in this video guide in the description section. It's important to have an experienced WordPress developer ensure that the WordPress site gets backed up before doing this change, as well as be able to restore a backup of the site if needed. Once the plugin is both installed and activated successfully, we can hover over the WooCommerce option in the left menu and click on Settings. As you can see, the plugin may already give you notices up top giving you a shortcut to go directly to the setup page. I'm going to show you how to arrive at the page manually in case you don't see this notification. So let's click on the Payments tab at the top. Scroll to the bottom until you find the PayPal option listed here and to the far right we can click on Finish Setup. You will see a new Welcome to PayPal Payments setup guide. We want to click on Activate PayPal Payments. You may already have a business account, but if all you have is a personal PayPal account, then you can select that option. We can click on Continue at the top right. Select all that apply here, and if your website has a WooCommerce subscriptions plugin already in use, then you'll be able to select this third option here. Once you're satisfied with your options, click on Continue. We're going to add credit and debit card fields, which include all the wallets and alternative payment methods, so I'm going to click on this first radio button here, and then click on Continue. And lastly, we can click on connect to PayPal to be redirected to PayPal's onboarding flows. But before I click there, I want to make sure I also show how to enable sandbox mode. So if you need to enable production mode with PayPal, stay on this page for two seconds. Just be ready to click on this connect button while I just quickly click on the back button up here. And once we are back in the first page, we can scroll down and click on see advanced options. It will be the first option here called enable sandbox mode. We can toggle this on and it will make this button appear. If you're needing to connect Sandbox, then you would have followed me all the way back here. Otherwise, if you're still on the other page waiting to enable production mode, go ahead and click on your original connect button so that we could all be on the same page. First, type your PayPal email address and click next and it will check that an account exists and then type in your password and click on log in. Then we will click on return to your store to be returned to WooCommerce. Here you should be on the Overview tab with suggestions on what to do next and some features below. I'll go through everything one by one, so let's click on the Payment Methods tab and start there. We can enable all PayPal checkout options on the first row here, so I'll toggle on Pay Later as well. For the Online Card Payments row, let's enable all of the card options and wallet options such as Apple Pay and Google Pay. There are still some final steps for Apple Pay, which I will outline later on in this video guide. If we scroll down, the alternative payment methods should already be on, otherwise you can turn them on for region-specific payment options for customers outside of the US. Let's scroll up and click on the Settings tab. PayPal has worked with WooCommerce as our partner to make the default options our best practice settings. So there isn't much to change here, but we can scroll down a little to see this Saved Payment Methods section. It's more common to enable this to the credit and debit card option here. You're welcome to enable it for PayPal and Venmo up here, but just be aware that this will disable the pay later option. So I'll leave this off for now. Lastly, let's scroll down and click on troubleshooting and toggle on logging so that we can collect logs to help with any future troubleshooting. I recommend periodically clicking on the save button at the top right. You can wait until the end to save it all if you wish, but it doesn't hurt to save along the way as well. Now let's click on the styling tab. 
This tab will allow you to modify the look and feel of your PayPal buttons. I'll leave mine as is, but feel free to change the preview location here, the shape down here, the label or colors to fit the needs of your website. Once you're satisfied, don't forget to save at the top right. Lastly, we will click on the Pay Later Messaging tab for a similar page. As you can see, here you have a full preview of how our messages can look and feel as well. Toggle Dark Mode to see how it will look on a dark mode website. As you can see, the words sort of disappear here, so you will want to change that to white to be able to see it here, for example. I'll change all of this back. On the left side, you'll be able to modify the settings for each page and get a live preview on the right side of the page. You can also enable our messaging on other pages here on the left. Once you're satisfied, we can click on Save at the top right until you see this completed message here. If you didn't enable Apple Pay in the beginning, then that's it. You have now successfully enabled PayPal in WooCommerce and you can end the video here. But the very last step is to finalize the Apple Pay configuration by making sure we upload Apple's domain association file as well as registering your domain in your PayPal dashboard. Let's quickly go over those now. Click on the Overview tab and we can click on this Register Domain for Apple Pay. This will take you to your PayPal dashboard to register your domain name with PayPal and Apple Pay. Click on Add Domain. The first step will ask you for your qualified domain name, so for whichever store website that you're working with, place that here. Then, step two will ask you to click on this hyperlink to download a file that you will have to upload in a specific file location, and you can see that file location in step three, where it will display your website domain, and then you will have to create a new directory with the file name as .well-known. So that will be the new directory, and inside of that directory, you will place the downloaded Apple Pay file where you can see the file name here. Only after you place that file there should you then go down and click on the Register Domain button. So don't click it yet if the file is not placed. Let me show you just one example of a typical way to do this on a common control panel interface. Here is a directory view. My website lives in this public underscore HTML folder here. So that's considered my root. Here, I have this dot well-known folder, or I would have had to create one with an option such as this here and name it exactly as shown here. If I navigate inside of this folder, you will see that the Apple file already exists for me. This is where you would upload or drag and drop the file in your server at this location. If I show you my file permissions, you can see that this is able to be read by the public, which is what we need. On an Apple machine, downloading this file at times appends a DMG file extension, which you will simply have to rename the file erasing the .dmg portion of the name, leaving it without a file extension. Going back to the PayPal page to add my domain, I can use this URL preview to check on a new tab if the file is viewable publicly. Sure enough, here it is. I'll close this now and go back, and now I will click on Register Domain. I've just showed you one way out of many ways that this can be done. This is specifically for production mode. For sandbox mode, adding the URL will always work, irrespective if the file is located in the right location or not. So please keep that in mind and make sure that for production, it gets added correctly. Let's go back to our WooCommerce settings now. We can refresh to see that this Apple Pay step has been completed. We can hover over the WooCommerce option in the left menu and click on Settings. The very last step to finish this migration is to now click on the Payments tab once more at the top. Now scroll to see the new PayPal option is enabled with everything that we just configured, but we can now toggle off this previous version labeled PayPal Checkout. And there we are, it's off, leaving us with just the new version on. Next, let's navigate to Plugins, Installed Plugins, and we can scroll down to find the older version called WooCommerce PayPal Checkout Gateway. I won't completely delete it, but let's go ahead and click on Deactivate. And that's it. We have now successfully migrated to the latest PayPal plugin in WooCommerce.